afternoon. Welcome to BC Pythons. I'm Bill. And today's video is a little bit of disaster preparedness. How prepared are you if you have an emergency situation like we had Saturday night here at the Perry household? Um, a lot of us have our reptile room in the basement of our homes. Um, there's some things you should be on guard for. So, to start with, we all need water, of course. You should have a at least a 12-pack of bottled water on hand at all times for your animals for water needs. And also, one of the basic things you need is electricity for the majority of our animals to, to run the heating accessories. And <clears throat> I highly recommend that everybody get a small uh, backup power system to run all your heat tape and your controllers, okay? Um, that will last you a couple hours because these units draw minimal wattage. I have four racks hooked up to my backup power and it's maybe running 10%. So that gives you an idea, okay? Um, those are available at most your uh, electronic uh, big box stores. And they generally go from anywhere from like 150 to 300, depending on what you like to get for um, how many racks you're running. So that's an option. Also, another option to have if you lose power and the ability to keep your animals warm is these little heat packs. This is the perfect time of year to buy these. We're coming into spring shortly, and everybody at the big box sporting goods stores, your farm, even in tractor supply, and feed stores, and sporting goods stores, they all have these, and they'll be usually setting up front right now for two for a buck or something. I have about 40 of these on hand at all times. So, uh, what you can do if you've lost power, um, you also, if you've lost power, it's a good idea to have a flashlight in your room, too, at all times. I keep mine right over here on the shelf by the door, so I know where it is. Um, these heat packs, rip open the package, do like that to activate them. Now, you don't want to put them in right away. I let them set for like 15 to 20 minutes, because the heat cycle, they will rise up over 100 degrees. So, once it's up and activated, you can slide out your enclosure, stick it in behind, and it will sufficiently keep your animal warm during your extended power outage. Now, if you're having like a, a small blip and the power is going to be back on in 15, 20 minutes, it's really not a big issue. But when you live in the country or rural areas, such as myself, uh, we lost power one time in the summer, and we were without power for four days. So, it's always good to have something like this. Um, also, I have a generator outside portable that I use for emergency situations like that. That's a good thing to have, but I'm not saying you have to have these things. I'm just giving you some uh, things to think about. Um, we were taking on water pretty bad th Saturday night up until 2 a.m., um, so I highly recommend you have a shop vac or some sort of uh, carpet shampooer or also work good just for sucking up the carpet and the uh, floor. I have tile floor in here, so it will absorb the water, take it, run, and dump it out, of course. Um, so it's a good thing to have on hand. So, also, I kind of showed these the other day, but just kind of an emergency thing. It's a bathtub. It's a good thing to have around for washing your animals and stuff. But in the event that you have a need to start stacking your animals, say your rack, you know, is part of the emergency situation and you need to put them in something, it's always good to have at least six of these guys on hand. Yes, it's not a forever home, but it could be a temporary home to your animal until you get your rack system fixed and back in operation. And you notice, 
There's a glass terrarium over here. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Anyway, um, I want to say thank you to everybody. Hopefully that's just some uh, ideals I thought of the other day. And I thought everybody should be a little more prepared in case something happens. Um, I have also recommend some 2x4s to have in case you need to raise your rack systems up in the event that you do get water in your basement and things like that. Okay, um, that's about all I wanted to say about disaster preparedness. Um, just go ahead, you know, make a plan. If I missed anything, you think of another idea, please com comment below and let us know. Um, I just want to say thank you. We're well up over 700 subscribers now. We're looking forward to growing and continuing to grow. And I can't do it without all the love and support from all of you guys. We appreciate it. And thank you very much. And also, um, our next video, I, I'm, I'm sorry, our next giveaway is going to be at the 850 mark. I'm going to make a official video this weekend. And uh, what we're going to do, I was going to give away a leopard gecko, I said in my live stream the other day, but I've changed my mind. What I'm going to do is give away not one, but two of the BC Python t-shirts. They'll be the front and uh, front design for two people. Um, the winner will get two shirts. So if you have you and your significant other, uh, it'll be the color choice of yours. And... Uh, that will be our giveaway for 850 and we'll also be doing another one at a thousand so keep an eye out for us we appreciate all your love and support make sure to comment like subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notifications when we go live when we go uh, put up a new video so uh, it's been a long week of rack building and stuff so my next few videos are going to be all about the animals but uh, this was just something I thought everybody should be aware of and to have some things on hand just in case. So from all of us here at BC Pythons, thank you very much and you have a blessed evening. Bye.